Well, we had a great uh, panel yesterday morning, um, a roundtable, on the NFIP reauthorization. The NFIP will expire, as you know, coming up on July 31st. And uh, the questions were, what will happen if it expires? Uh, and if it does expire, how will that affect, um, in my case, uh, my customers, my insureds? Um, and if it does renew, what it will it look like? So um, first, if it expires, what will happen? What will happen is that no new policies will be able to be issued, no um, renewals will be offered, and no premium bearing endorsements can be processed. So you can see that can be problematic uh, for real estate closings, for people who are just waiting for the renewal, um, and for people who say put on an addition and they need to increase their coverage limits. Um, and July 31st is also starting to get into the serious part of um, hurricane season, so it could be really problematic for a lot of people. Um, so what, what I think will happen, and, and this is what we discussed, um, is that there'll be a short-term reauthorization, um, which is actually what I would prefer over um, them rushing through a, a reauthorization that might not in, include all the things that it should, because the uh, National Flood Insurance Program is uh, a program that costs $5.7 billion a year to run, according to the Congressional Budget Office, and it takes in $4.3 billion in premiums and fees. So uh, just based on that, the, the, having the doors open in a normal claims year, the program loses $1.4 billion. So I would rather them take the time and look at uh, the, the big picture rather than rush to a reauthorization. Um, so then it becomes how far do they push it? Uh, it's an election year, so, so the people um, in charge of the process could, could change. There'll be a lot of new faces, uh, perhaps, and uh, what, what would pass now may not be something uh, that would pass in the future or vice versa. Um, so I'm hoping they'll just hold off on that.